Reports that North Korea test fired another short range ballistic missile. ABC's Britt Clenet has the latest from London and Britt, this comes just a day before South Korea and the U.S. are set to begin joint drills. Good morning, Janae. That's right. South Korea says the North fired the missile off its east coast. It flew 370 miles at a max height of 37 miles. Now, Seoul calling it an act of grave provocation. And the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command says today's test fire doesn't pose an immediate threat to U.S. personnel or territory. But again, authorities pointing out that North Korea's actions are destabilizing. And we've seen an escalation of tests at a record pace this year. 30 ballistic weapons so far, including the first inter continental ballistic missile since 2017 and you know often with these launches the timing here is important to note this latest coming just ahead of military drills between the US and South Korea the aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan already docking in South Korea for those drills yeah and Brit speaking of the timing here Vice President Kamala Harris will also be in South Korea in the coming days that's right. Harris is expected to meet with South Korean President Yoon suk yeol who took up the role in May. And, you know, he's made it clear he wants to get tough on North Korea. What's not clear, though, is whether Pyongyang is actually willing to uh, return to the negotiation table. You know, any recent attempts to bring it back into the fold for nuclear talks have so far failed. When All right, Brett, our thanks to you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.